racing motorcycles and snowmobiles. Then he made a jump into the big leagues and began racing Badger and USAC midget cars. He didn't stop there. After seeing a Jet 1 car race, he said, whoa, baby, this is for me. He took it to a whole new level. He raced his first jet vehicle back in 1995, the Jazz Jet 20 car, at a speed of 300 miles per hour, but that was not enough. He's gone on to make international headlines with this school time school bus, this jet engine out of a Vietnam fighter, the F-4 Phantom, which is still active as a target drone airplane. We have one on display here. The equivalent afterburner horsepower, ladies and gentlemen, is 42,000 horsepower. Now, Paul Stender is gonna create his own weather pattern. We have storm clouds, we have thunder, and we have lightning. Yeah, baby. And if you were with us last night, courtesy of Wright Brothers Arrow, they saw that under cover of darkness. And after yesterday's grueling weather, which has improved and is comfortable today, what a great treat. Paul Stender made his own weather right there. He had a cloud, he had thunder from the engine, and he lit up that crowd, cloud with lightning. And then he did a high-speed run. Now, the best time. By the way, open up your programs to page 14 and 15. Flames coming out. 75 feet of afterburner flame. Now, Rob, you know, uh, I was humiliated as a kid to ride the school bus. My great uncle was the bus driver, and he always uh, kidded me. You know, he teased me on the way. He had, a, he had a nickname for me. As we were getting close to school, you'd see my pals, the other students, especially the girls I was interested in. They'd be walking with their books. And as I passed them, i ducked down under the window because I didn't want to be a geek in a bus. It got so bad, I started to hitchhike to school and hitchhike. <laughs> Well, Paul Stender retried, rebuilt, redone, and refried in order to make this thing reach speeds of. Oh, did I say refried? Wow. Yeah. Good. Uh, I think the five percent that's remaining is probably yellow school bus paint. That would be about five percent. Little Krylon never hurt anybody. But the flames on the side. A hundred and fifty gallons of diesel fuel are about aboard this thirty-five foot long vehicle that will reach, has reached a speed of 367 miles per hour, Danny. And that is documented, oh yes, it has been on TV and magazines, it's been Ripley's Believe It or Not, the National Enquirer, then we go to television shows, Dangerous Curves, that was featured on Spike TV, Monster Garage, the big question, Strange Inventions, that was the Discovery Channel, the high speed run is on the way, Paul Stender looking for 350 miles an hour as the end of the runway comes up and the drogue chute comes out. That is the way to slow that school bus. If you tried the brakes at that speed, you would merely burn them out. When those drogue chutes come out, even